Estonia SSD can actually feel a bit complicated sometimes, but don't worry, I will share some helpful tips with you. The most recommended SSDs to buy in 2025 are the M.2 Cell 1. Your motherboard typically has anywhere from 1 to 4 M.2 slot. If you find an open slot that looks like this on your motherboard, that's perfect. You just need to gently slide the SSD right in, then initialize it through disk management in Windows, and it will work as your secondary drive. You can use the secondary drive to store all kinds of files or set it as your Steam library location. Just to remember, Windows will still remain on your original SSD. What if your motherboard only has one M.2 slot and it's already filled? If you want to replace it with a bigger or better drive, you will need to think about how to transfer Windows over. Or you could close your original drive to transfer window. I actually don't recommend doing that. A more reliable approach is set up a USB Windows installation drive, install your new SSD, and then do a fresh Windows installation on the new SSD. Also, external USB SSDs in the SATA drive are another option. But this approach does have some downsides. First, there's the speed issue. External USB drives are noticeably slower than M.2. When gaming or handling large files, you might feel a significant difference. Secondly, external drives take up your USB port, and they're easy to bomb when sitting on your desk. As for SATA drives, while they're internal, they require extra cable. The cables inside your case can get messier and more troublesome to manage. So if possible, prioritizing an international M.2 SSD would be much more convenient. Oscar.